Okay, so we're gonna dry this. Oh, and I can't even see your comments. Ah, help me. I'm live on Facebook, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Hello, Michelle. North Canada, wow. Wow, wow, wow. <clears throat> Hi, Tracy. Yeah, I have Tracy's kid over here. Mm -hmm. um, don't judge. It's Wine Friday. Hi, Angie. Hi, Sam. Hi, Christine and Susan. Hello, Kathy. Okay. Yeah, I know. I don't know what's going on on YouTube. But if I'm back on YouTube, let me know. Yeah, I was gone for some odd reason. It just shut me down. I'm live on YouTube now. Good. Thank you, Robin. I'm back. On the tube. I'm back on the tube. Awesome. So I'm just going to dry the white that I did on here. Should be easy. I don't know what happened, but it'll be all right. <sighs> um, I shouldn't be surprised though, because the way my day has been going, I don't, I don't even think I should sh share all the craziness that's happened so far. Um, every Friday, we get our farm share delivered to our front porch, and I'm supposed to have a cooler out there so that she can put the veggies in there because it's anytime between 6.30 and 10 and I don't usually wake up at 6.30, you know? So, um, I woke up like in a, like have you ever like woken up like, oh my gosh, I forgot to do something. Well, that's what I did. At 6.15, I woke up and remembered, well I remembered and then I woke up that I had forgotten to set out the stuff or Aaron didn't do it either, right? Like neither of us put it out. Um, so, and we had to put out a, a, um, a jar with, or a bucket with water in it because she had some fresh cut flowers, gorgeous by the way, um, that were also gonna be dropped off and she wanted to make sure that they were in water when she dropped them off. So I get up at 6.15. Oh, I didn't try this part. <laughs> So I'm up at 615, run downstairs in my pajamas. My hair, like, if you would have seen me, oh my God, you would have like put me on TikTok. It was so bad. Run downstairs, got to get a cooler out of the garage. The only way to get the cooler, because it's on the other side of my truck, was to open the garage door, go around, get it, pull it out, put it on the front porch, put my ice packs in it and then get something, fill it with water, and put that on the front porch. Well, let me tell you, I was like dead man walking at 6.15 this morning doing this. So I decide, half, like for a second, I was like, um, maybe I'll just stay up because I have a lot of work to do. And then I was like, I'm going back to bed. Like Aaron, nobody's up, Aaron's asleep, I'm going back to bed. So I get back in bed, it's a big mistake. Because I didn't wake up until 9. That is not good for me. I have so much work to do. I came downstairs and I'm like, okay, I'm going to have coffee, make my breakfast, get the kids fed. <clears throat> Ryan's not up, but I'm waking him up because he needs to prepare for his friends coming over. And <clears throat> I decide I'm going to make his ice cream cake now to have it done, put it in the freezer, it'll be good. So I did that. I no sooner finished that ice cream cake than someone sends me a message. Hey, did you send the link for the Zoom yet? Uh, shoot. Yeah, so I forgot I had a Zoom call today at 10.30 and it was oh, about 10.20 when she messaged that. Still in my pajamas, still not done. Have so much work to do. 
so I run up and just throw on some clothes. Pull my hair back. <laughs> uh, still not showered. It was, that Zoom lasted till 12.30. And I had a phone call, um, a phone call at 1, which lasted until 1.45. And then I have to be live. I did get like a half hour of invoices done. I'm still not done. It's been a day. All the boys have arrived. I was going to get up and go for a walk. I was going to do all these things. Hi, Annabelle. I think we're dry here. This is, this is the right wing. This is the left wing. Left, right. And this is the left wing. Okay. Oh, okay. Now we need to fuzz this because we're going to be putting it on here. And I don't want to, I don't want to wax it. Well, actually, I don't, I hope this is my one that has juice. Got to get that heating up. Oh, we've got some things. We've got a lot that's going to happen on this today. Our wings. So anyway, and I didn't, I don't know. Lately, I have just been running ragged. But I feel like this is our first, I'm so excited. This is my first Friday of the summer that I'm not going anywhere staying right here the first weekend of the summer that we are staying home I kid you not we have been in a hotel or in our camper or at his mom's house every weekend since June 5th some of those weekends have been absolutely fun and I wouldn't trade it for anything but it still is good to be home all right so this is going to be my left wing. Left wing, which incidentally has nothing to do with politics. Okay. Nothing at all. Here's my left wing. Voila. We're going to put our right wing down. Hi, Pam. Thank you. Hi, Amy. Hi, Dion. This is going to be a good one. I already know because I'm so excited about it. And I know I say that every single day. But I've wanted to do this for a long time. Just haven't gotten around to it. So many other things had to be done first, apparently. If you like what I create today... Everything that I'm using, you can get right from that special shopping link that I put up there. It is pinned in the comments. Apparently, it's not pinned over here. Sometimes I forget. But there, it's pinned in the comments now. Get back to work. Okay. Did I fuzz this enough? Maybe one more time. Maybe one more time. Okay. We're going to place this on here. Just trying to match them up. There we go. All right. Now, our wings are going to be um, storm on top of the whitewashed, on top of the gray, on top of the sanding. Got one of my fun pink squeegees today that I'm going to use. Our pink squeegees came from a chalk couture event one of our conventions early on 
We got these cute pink squeegees. So if you're new and you're like, what is she doing? I'm using a squeegee to spread the chalk paste across the silk screen that's on my, my uh, silk screen transfer. Um, it's basically a reusable um, silk screen stencil. It's got a sticky back and then it's reusable. So that's what I'm doing. As I'm applying the chalk, I'm also smoothing it out and removing extra that's on there because if you have extra, you can always um, put it back in the container, save it for next time, which I'm pretty much using the rest of this container right now. So I may not even need to. <clears throat> But when you use your squeegee, you actually want to scrape. You want to get that kind of scraped away there. Okay, extras going back. And then we're going to clean these transfers. You want to peel it from top, bottom, side to side. Oof, I love it. And then I'm going to wash this in water. If you haven't seen chalk before, like what we're doing here, definitely type add me in the comments and I will send you a link to join my free group. Uh, inside that group, you'll get more ideas, inspiration, and insider information. So... It's just add me, A-D-D-M-E, into the comments, and I'll send that. If you're on Facebook, you'll get that in a message on Messenger, so super easy to do. It is called Creative Sarah's Chalk Nation. Okay, now I've got this one cleaned. So I'm gonna lay it out and I have to clean the next one. Oh, there's a fly on my project, how dare you. My husband left doors open. Newbie Tabitha, thank you, awesome, awesome. Definitely type add me in the comments, Tabitha. We love new people because it brings awesome ideas. Okay, so far, here's what we have, but it's wet, so we're gonna, wa I'm gonna wash this uh, transfer in my water, and then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna dry the wings before we add all of our embellishments. This is going to be a masterpiece, you guys. A masterpiece, I'm telling you. As far as I'm concerned, you'll be a masterpiece. We'll see what you guys think when we're all done. So you can wash your transfer right in water. You can use your hands. Um, I use a board eraser, which we sell. Um, we sell them in a two pack, but I use the board eraser on the front to get all that chalk and pigment off. And then on the back, you just kind of use your hands and clean off the back. It's really easy. And then you set it aside, lay it down, spread it out, um, use, you want the top, you want the sticky side facing up when you set it out. A tattoo with wings, Wendy. Awesome. Um, Susan, make sure add me. A-D-D-M-E. Um, 
Charlotte, the surface that I have is our 12 by 18 diagonal palette board. Um, if you saw it before I started, they're gray. It's like a, it's a wooden palette board with diagonal. And then I sanded it with my sander and I whitewashed roughly. I will get you fly. I will blow you to death with my quick dry tool. I sanded it with my um, palm sander. Uh, then I whitewashed it with watered down white chalk paste. I finally did my order so that I can get my club stuff. If you guys um, are not in club, just type club in the comments and I'll send you the information, the link so that you can check out what it is. It is an awesome way to love chalk couture. It is like, um, you know, crafting DIY on a budget. It's super inexpensive. And when you become a club member, you get all the perks. You get all the perks that we offer and nobody else does. So definitely type club in the comments. I can't wait to get my August stuff so I can show you guys and do the project with it. Three projects. We got some wet stuff here. So you don't have, this is our quick dry tool, but um, if you just want to air dry, it'll take about eight minutes to air dry. So just a thought, if you don't have our quick dry tool yet, in a pinch you can use a um, hair dryer on a cool setting, but it just, it blows a lot harder. So depending on what you have, you'll want to be careful. On these little creases, the chalk kind of pools in there. They are so pretty. I love, love, love. Absolutely, Susan. I will be to Florida in a jiffy. <laughs> I would love to help you set. I need someone to help me set up my craft room. I feel like, I don't know. Okay, so, so far, let me go ahead and turn these around so you can see on Facebook beautiful wings. Now I'm going to be adding some different things and I have to play with it to really know what I'm going to be doing. But I know I don't think that big one. I think I'm going to do a bunch of little We're keeping it neutral, guys. We are keeping it neutral. Um, and some of these have like a big hump and I'm gonna try to cut it off without messing up the integrity of what I'm doing here. Some of these are really cool. Let's see if I can make this one a little smaller. So I'm going to be hot gluing them. These are Sola flowers. They are the wooden ones that are like really pliable and you can, um, you can dye them if you want. I love the natural colors. So I'm probably not going to be dyeing any of these. I have some that are browns and some that are whites. I'm just trying to like get a good mix. Because when I get these glued into place, we're gonna want kind of all that space this 
This one might be too big. one down. That'll probably do it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Gonna have to pop one more in. can do it like that or should I pop one more little brown one down here oh my goodness um if you don't have sola flowers you guys you can use um like you can use the burlap flowers they will look just as good they have a lot of different burlaps and some that are you know the light and the dark burlap would look just as good FYI much bigger a much bigger glass 95 degrees out oh my gosh that's super hot and these are the sola flowers yes do only five sola s-o-l-a um I know that on Facebook, you're seeing an angle, but my camera picks up um, my down shot. It looks really good with the seven. So um, put that one back. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna start up here. And I'm going to attach one at a time. and make sure that it gets the angle that I want it to have so that we're covering the space on the board. Ooh, this one is nice and flat, so it should be easy peasy. I found all my stuff online. I just ordered it. I just Googled Sola flowers, and I get them in bulk, um, so you can kind of shop around and see where the, who has the best deal. I'm sure they have them at craft stores. I just so rarely get to a craft store that I order online. Thank you, Amy Cresswell. I think it's the blueberry line, which it really, really is good. And it's such a weird, like it's a really light, fizzy lightly fizzy kind of a thing <gasps> I love it okay so remember neutrals 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 for me and for my decor this is um, 
some of the stuff that I've been doing. All right, are you ready for the big reveal? Dun, dun, dun. What do you think? You like it? I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Neutrals. Um, I hope you guys like it. If you do, you can get all of the supplies in my shopping link right there in the pinned comment. If you're curious about becoming a designer, I would love it if you would just type team in the comments and I can send you a quick message with a link where you can join my opportunity group and check out a video all about being a designer and how you can make money, um, among other things, or just get your discount, or if you're a creator, get discounted supplies, um, all of those good things. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate all the comments. Thank you, Heidi. Um, so other than that, if you have any questions, let me know. If you're new, add me, A-D-D-M-E in the comments. And um, I'm gonna go finish my invoices from last night. So everybody, have an amazing rest of your day and have a really, really, really great weekend because uh, 